at the time of this recording, the class of 2020 is just freshly graduated. So congratulations, you guys. But now you're heading out into a brave, very strange new world. Very strange right now in particular. So what's next? So to preface this video, I graduated from UC Santa Barbara with a degree in film and media studies, which is probably arguably one of the most useless degrees out there, let's be honest. But it's still a degree. I also did not know exactly what I wanted to do when I got out of college. I went in thinking that I wanted to be a cinematographer or something in the film industry. That's why I picked film. But that was not the case when I left. And so now I was faced with this crisis, like what am I gonna do when I get out of school? And the piece of advice that has been shared with me a lot is that it's okay if you don't know exactly what you wanna do. In fact, most people still don't know exactly what they wanna do. What most people like to do is they pick the first opportunity that comes for them. And a lot of the times they get trapped in that opportunity. And that happens to a lot of people. Just remember, we're trying to find that point in the middle. We're trying to find exactly what fulfills us. So that would be my first point of advice is always be pursuing your why. Identify what really matters to you, what excites you, gets you up in the morning, what you wanna to work towards. That has helped me a lot, just pursuing that why a lot. Like I haven't come to the conclusion. I don't think I will anytime soon, but it is a lot more solid than it used to be before I started college. And honestly, that sense of direction has been everything for me. If you notice and you look at the greats and the people who have kind of created something for themselves, you'll notice that a lot of them actually had a mission. I'm re-listening to Elon Musk's uh, book by Ashley Vance right now. One thing he did while well in college was try to hone down on exactly what problems the earth needed to solve the most. And he dedicated his life to those problems and he's still doing that. So make sure that you take the time to really meditate on those things that matter to you. I'm on the way right now to go meet Daniel and his buddy. He's an American Ninja Warrior parkour gymnast extraordinaire. What's good? Yo. I'm outside. All right, so we're here on this structure in an uh, undisclosed location for now. And um, it's quite close to a store over there, but apparently it's all right, right, Daniel? No one knows who's gonna, what's gonna happen. No one knows what's gonna happen. Nick and Daniel, yeah. we're gonna do a little choreo in the beginning, um, followed by a line down this pathway. And we're gonna wait for an opportunity when there aren't any cars, so we don't have to cause any trouble. And we're gonna just see if we can follow them down with the drone. How are you with heights? Fine. Okay. I trust my body more than I trust anything else, but like that's why I hate roller coasters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm requesting for authorization, so if we're doing anything, it should be allowed. All right, well, request approved. All right, we're good. I'll hide behind this trash can. <laughs> Uh, Daniel, while, while I'm positioning, can you check, can you check one more time yeah. to see if anyone's there? Alright, ready Nick? Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Someone put their hands up. All right, ready? Three, two, cut. There you go. Nice. Muchas gracias. <laughs> dude, yes. Yes. Oh, dude. Yes. And I got your flip. I turned around. Yes. I was like, oh shit, he's coming. No, that's perfect. Woo! And I got that's that one. So too. sick. That was the it. best that one, bro. <laughs> Look at this place. Oh my goodness. We're in San Diego still. I had no idea this was here. This is wild. Ooh. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna try my best. So, uh, it'll it'll be your opening shot. So you're gonna be sitting there like an anime character. And then we're gonna I'm gonna try to fly through that gap right there. Do you see it? 
Okay, let's let's hope nothing goes wrong. Sometimes you just gotta risk it for the biscuit. You know? Okay. All right, Daniel, I'm moving in. Get ready. Not yet. All right, go for it. Woo! That was good. Are you okay? Yeah, totally fine, dude. Okay. What? Did, did you just do a course from sitting down? I did a course from sitting down with a katana. Wait, that's the Why are you crazy? Why are you? That, I just committed, dude. No. That was super fun. Um, I have actually never filmed parkour or free runners before. And I've always kind of fantasized about it because it seems so cool. And it was very cool. We tried some pretty crazy stuff. I, I did not imagine us flying in a parking lot near Walmart today, but that's what we did. We didn't get kicked out. I got requested authorization. So, you know, it's like we were, we were obeying the, the rules. I would say as like a pilot, right use your discretion but you have to risk it for the biscuit and that's actually my second point of this video is you gotta take risks take big risks now while you're young and you're not attached to anything you know one day you might have a family you might have kids you're gonna have to worry about other obligations and it's only going to grow as you get older so we have to use this time now when we can you're never gonna know until you've actually attempted it and the more things you try then the more likely you are to find something that really resonates with you, that you're really good at, that you love doing. And once you find that, you've gotten a step closer to your why. And that leads back to step one. My third piece of advice is specifically for those people who only look in one direction of time. That means they're too forward thinking or they're too much stuck in the past, right? I'm, I'm personally very forward thinking, so much to the point where I tend to neglect the present by thinking about the future and also the past. I don't really think much about my past. I forget about what I had for breakfast the same day. I'm really bad at it. And so my third piece of advice is to make sure that you plan and reflect. And the way I've gone about this, the best practice that I can offer you guys is picking up a journal. There's no right or wrong way of journaling, but once you have an external brain is what I like to call it, then you're good. You know, you're able to write things down and refer back to them later. And also just the act of taking a pencil and actually having the tacticular that, that word tactile sensation of writing a word down and then looking at the word being able to feel the paper something about that really reinforces your thoughts into your memory so i highly recommend getting a journal writing down what you want to do what you did do everything you know it's going to help a lot i promise so make sure you plan and you reflect that's going to help you get a step closer to your calling okay so i just dropped off something to a friend um, I can call him a friend now and it's kind of crazy, but I can't show you the place just because it's still, I sent an NDA and I'm not allowed to tell anybody about it for three months, which sucks. This is an unpaid internship I've been working for the last month. Even though it's unpaid, it's for a company and people that I thought would take me much longer to even find work with. So if money was my priority, I probably would have taken it, which would probably not have been the best choice for myself. That being said, this is my next piece of advice for graduating students um, who are under the same impression as me that think once you're out of school, the objective is to make as much money as possible. And I can see why that is a thing. When we're in school, our objective is to get the best grade possible. It's to get the best X possible. The biggest measurement we possibly can out of the task we are doing. And money is such an easily measurable object, right? But this is my piece of advice. And something that I've learned over the past year is that money is not the only source of value. There's a lot of things that you can do that don't result in money that are still as, or even maybe more valuable than working a job that gives you a lot of money. There's a lot of advice from Tim Ferriss and Gary Vee that they talk about people they know who are some of the richest in the world who are also the most miserable. 
And while money is easy to measure, and it's a huge status symbol that you can't really deny the significance of, what good is it if you're unhappy and you're not even enjoying your life? It's hard to imagine what good money is if you're living a miserable life, right? So there's a lot of things that you can invest in that aren't monetary, right? Yourself, into skills, into relationships. It's been really hard for me to cope with not making a lot of money. I've been freelancing, and ever since COVID happened, pretty much all my freelance jobs have gone. So I've, it's, it's been hard um, telling myself this, right? And I'm sure a lot of people are dealing with this as well. But you have to understand that there are so many things you can do to make money. So like getting, getting a simple job or finding passive forms of income. But at the same time, while you're investing in yourself and new skills, you are positioning yourself to have better jobs. And by investing in your relationships, you are meeting more people and opening up the gates of opportunity for later on. It's a longer term investment. And while that might not bring money, it will bring a lot more positive things and the money will come. So tip number four is money is not the only form of value. And remember that. Yo H, where we at right now? What's good? We're out here in San Diego, best city in the world after LA. Oh, <laughs> I have not practiced in public or at all in the last three months. So we'll see what happens. Of shape but i'm glad we got the session and it's been like three months since i've had a public session well wow. it was nice being a part of the breaking community again uh haven't really been a part of that for a while but yeah i'm happy and blessed to have it i hope you guys also have your communities that you're reaching out to as well i only have one more piece of advice for you guys to end this video off and i feel like this is probably the most important um is just that remember that even though it feels like every passing day might feel wasted because you still haven't landed a job and you may feel doubt and even worthlessness. I know I definitely have, um, but don't forget that your 20s only last for so long. You know, just think about how quickly your time in high school or college flew by. I feel like 20s are only gonna get faster and I've heard it's only gotten faster from there. Um, so make sure you enjoy and you savor the journey. Don't worry, you're gonna be okay. Everybody, Whatever happens to you, it is your choice to decide how you react to it. So don't forget that you're always in charge of your mentality. And once you remember that, then you can always remember that you can be present in this moment and you can decide whether you want to suffer or you can decide to sit with it and just be grateful for even being here in this moment. Yeah, that's my last piece of advice for college graduates. So I hope these tips helped you guys because I distilled these from my last year out of college and they have these have been the biggest points that have made my experience great and that have been helping lead to bigger opportunities which I have no doubt are coming um, I mean just within these last few months in quarantine I feel like they've been the most productive out of the last year that I've been out of school I started an internship I got a sponsorship um, from as a pilot for drones I didn't even fly drones before quarantine started so a lot has happened and these tips that I'm giving you guys have helped a lot in making that possible. So I hope they help you as well. And yeah, let me know how it goes. Keep me updated because you got a friend right here. Don't forget that. And I hope to see you guys soon. Take care. Peace.